CFCLUSA, Mr. Sandy Chow here, and he is a very respectful community leader. So he is also Ding Ding TV's mentor. Thank you, Mr. Sandy Chow. Let's welcome to Sandy Chow to come the stage and give us a few words. I'm so happy uh, here to uh, see uh, you guys, and then especially uh, the youth, because uh, I remember I was young before. <laughs> then the, uh, the two organizations, I just wish you the best of luck. Some of you have uh, uh, been here before, and then I think uh, continue on with the good work. And I'm so happy to see here, especially today, and then the, uh, just give me a lot of good memories uh, as I first started. And then the, uh, <clears throat> I first started uh, here in United States as a foreign student more than 50 years ago. And, uh, and then I went back to the Far East and I came back. And when I came back about, about a little bit more than 40 years ago, and I, I came, came to this place and then uh, beginning to start a business. And then people say, Wel welcome to Silicon Valley. I say, wow, this is a Silicon Valley. What, what, what's the valley about? They say it used to, used to be a farm valley that uh, building, uh, uh, growing fruit and then making, uh, if you fry the, if you slice the, the fruit uh, thin enough and then you can actually uh, dry it as chips. But uh, it's no longer uh, the fruit chips, but rather silicon chips. Then I said, wow. Wonderful, it's silicon chips. And can, uh, how come it's called silicon? And they say, you make microchips, that means uh, it's integrated circuit. Then I say, it must be a really, really uh, interesting thing. But they say, this is uh, Silicon Valley, it's all about IC. I say, well, I, so what is IC? IC is a community. And the community is called Indian Chinese. <laughs> so therefore, today is a today is a very special moment that happened to me. It's a it's a collaboration of IC. It's very much a Silicon Valley, and Silicon Valley is a combination of talent, and then the biggest group of talent is that holding this IC community together, and then we're so glad that we work so close together today. And then we're basically, we're talking about bringing your dream to mainstream. The dream to mainstream is very, very important. It's because we have con contributed significantly by hard work and ingenuity and every effort that we put our best to this community, build up this community. And then for, for one thing, it's so excited that we see all the young people, we are actually building a foundation for the youth, for the next generation, and hopefully the next generation will build an even stronger community for our future generation, not only to our own race, because we adopted this place, we believe this is, will be, this is the, the best country. And then the best country deserves the best people to contribute it. And then it is for the Asian American to integrate. If you sooner or later you need to integrate, sooner is much better than later. So therefore, basically it's us. The hope of civil leadership USA is hopefully everybody will contribute the very best sooner. The more of the good force sooner for the United States, the better will be for our future generation. I'm so glad to see so many of you. Am I so glad for those who have had their past experience can pass on to the next generation as a reference, but the old people can only give you a reference. The country is yours. The country belongs to the 
youth prepare to be the strengthened uh, middle age, middle class to continue to, to do and participate and contribute. So therefore, I think everybody should have a dream. I kind of peek uh, a little bit about uh, the, the, the roles uh, we will tell you, and then uh, we'll steal some, some thunder from, from her. The thing is this, every day we have to think what we need to do in the future. What is our mission statement? What is our goal? Do we have a time timeline? Do we have a schedule to reach that point? I think for me, it's very difficult is because I don't have too much really uh, energy the rest of my life, but somehow looking at you, you have a lot more potential. So therefore, basically, in here is I'm very exciting. I'm actually looking at you and you and you. I'm looking at the future because I, with your determination and your commitment, you really can turn my dream, which is kind of late, really my dream into everybody's dream. And I think together, I think we can turn into the mainstream and build up a stronger America because we want the country to be great and then we should contribute the best we can. So this is all about, it's a continuation and then in the hope that I see you here, I see so much eagerness and so much energy amount you that I can see we really, because of you, we will have a stronger and great America.